Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and this is a fairly requested video very recently, and that is another episode of What's on My Mac. So let's start off with the hardware. Now I'm currently using a late 2013 uh, 13.3 inch um, Retina MacBook Pro. Now, of course, this is the thinner and lighter version of the MacBook Pro that Apple released in 2012. They started with the 15 inch, moved down to the 13 inch, and this is the highest end version available with an Intel Core i5, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 gigabytes of solid state storage. Now, this is the highest end pre configured version available from Apple, but of course, you can bump up the specs a little bit more uh, when you're purchasing and customizing your Mac. Uh, now, also, just a quick shout out um, the wallpaper that you guys see on my Mac was made by me. This is a facet geometric version of the Nike Yeezy October 2s. Uh, if you guys would like a full resolution version of this, do remember to head over uh, and send me a private message or a comment because I am actually selling the full resolution version of this for $20 and as many of you as would like can buy it. So without any further ado, let's get straight on into the software. Alright guys, so we'll get into it in the software side of things right now. So this is my desktop currently. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know why I have this open, so I'm just going to quit out of here or that's strange uh, regardless this is my dock this is my desktop I am running Yosemite um, I'm just gonna open up the about this Mac section and you guys can see it says OS X Yosemite version 10.1 or 10.10 .10, depending on whatever you want to read that as so as I mentioned before this is a MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch late 2013 this is the highest end model available the 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 uh, with 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM um, and Intel Iris 1536 uh, or Intel Iris graphics with uh, 1536 megabytes of uh, video RAM. Uh, now uh, I'm actually going to come up here to displays because I am currently using this with an external monitor. I'm using it with um, the Asus or Asus, depending on how you'd like to pronounce it, 24 um, inch VX248. Um, display which is a 20 uh, or a 24 inch 1920 by 1080p HD monitor uh, currently the storage on my Mac uh, I have my internal hard drive which is or my internal solid-state drive which comes built into my computer at 512 um, gigabytes but of course 500 is available um, and then I have my two hard drives plugged in, which is uh, my two terabyte drive is a Western Digital, as is my one terabyte, but this is a larger one, um, and I use this for my media. Uh, and the one terabyte disc is just for my, or backing up my YouTube videos. Under support, I mean, I don't really know if everyone really needs to see that, but regardless. Um, yeah, uh, so my MacBook is actually in clamshell mode, sitting on the 12 South um, book arc for MacBook Pro. Uh, behind my monitor so I'm just gonna close out of that and uh, we'll actually move on into my dock for now so over here uh, of course since I am running Yosemite this is the Yosemite dock um, we have finder Safari which is actually currently my main uh, browser of choice I used to use Chrome right here but ever since Yosemite came out I've been trying to give Safari a try because I do want to make a video regarding it uh, and then of course I have iMessage because I use it all the time and of course with handoff and the continuity features with um, iOS and the iPhone uh, it actually works well for my text messages as well so I just text off of my computer basically then I have iTunes I'm just listening to music most of the time uh, I I've actually been using iTunes a lot less now ever since I got Spotify uh, which so over here I have uh, after that after iTunes I have uh, system preferences uh, Adobe Lightroom um, Adobe Photoshop now this is Lightroom 5 and Photoshop uh, CS6 uh, then I have uh, uTorrent Spotify uTorrent is my main torrent client of choice and I use uh, both of these Adobe applications Lightroom and Photoshop for editing my my photographs I use uh, Lightroom and for creating um, like my YouTube banners and things like that I use Photoshop and just for editing thumbnails and things like that for any sort of serious um, graphics editing or graphics uh, or graphic design I end up using where is it Adobe Illustrator CC uh, and I also recently got uh, Adobe InDesign CC which I'm going to start using as well um, after that, I have Final Cut Pro 10, which is uh, my main tool of choice for editing videos. I, I actually do have uh, Premiere Pro somewhere here, or maybe I uninstalled it. I used to have Premiere Pro. Uh, 
It never worked out very well for me, it was a little complicated, I enjoy using Final Cut Pro and so I decided to stick with that. So I'm going to move on to my main applications that I have here. So as I mentioned before, I have Safari and Chrome and Messages. And of course, these are most of these, uh, the App Store, iBooks, etc. These are all basically just Apple applications. And, um, okay, uh, as I was saying, Apple applications. Then I have, uh, of course, um, I have Fodor, which is a basic photo editing application. I don't really use it very much. I'm actually, uh, here we go. Let's actually just get rid of that. Uh, then I have Mediafire for desktop, Handbrake, which I use to encode my videos, uh, Cinch, which is an awesome application that you use it to pin windows around. Um, so I'm just going to open up this one here. It's just a photograph, so I can actually pin this to the right or pin it to the left or make it full screen. It's basically uh, something that I use to help me transition over from Windows from when I used to use Windows 7. Um, it had that feature, I think, called AeroSnap. Yeah, then I have Musi, which again I don't use very much. It's basically just this little thing that that it, it stays in your status bar and tells you what song is playing. Then I have Keynote, ScreenFlow, which I'm using to record this video. I have some uh, Microsoft applications. Don't mind that. That's me being childish. I have Microsoft Word and Microsoft Outlook. I don't use Outlook. I don't know why it's there. Uh, I have some Adobe applications, so Photoshop, Lightroom, and Adobe Bridge, which works with Lightroom. Uh, then Final Cut Pro. Uh, uTorrent VLC, which is awesome. You guys should totally get VLC if you don't have it already. No Sleep, which I use for shutting the lid of my MacBook uh, without turning it off or putting it into sleep mode. Twitter, which uh, I use from time to time on my desktop, but more often than not, uh, I tweet from my iPhone using uh, TweetBot 3. Uh, Audacity, which I, again, don't use very much. I don't know why I have all of these redundant applications, because I'm just not using them. I should probably delete most of these. Uh, then I have CDoc, which again, I currently don't use. I was using that on Mountain Lion. Uh, the LCC connection utility, which is just a Logitech Control Center connection utility. And I use this to connect to my Logitech Performance MX mouse, along with the Logitech Unifying Software. Light Icon, which again, I used to use on Mountain Lion for giving me the Yosemite icons early. The uh, Wacom Desktop Center, Wacom Display Settings, Wacom Tablet Utility for my Wacom Tablet, as you might imagine. Uh, Android File Transfer for whenever I have friends with Android phones or tablets who would just want to like transfer something back and forth from my computer. Um, the HP Utility, which I used to use for my old printer. Again, should probably delete that. Uh, Carbon Copy Cloner, uh, which is a backup utility. Autodesk, uh, Sketchbook Pro, and Sketchbook Snapshot. Uh, ArtRage Studio Pro, don't use this. Remote Desktop Connection, I think these just came with Microsoft Office. I should probably get rid of them. And Microsoft Messenger, I don't even know if that's even a thing anymore. Um, but regardless, it's still there, so why the hell not uh, mention it. Then I have Mailbox. Uh, this is the beta version currently, but I got an invite, so I decided to use it. Um, and Skype. And Air Server doesn't work for me, so I'm going to delete that. And that is basically about it for what's on my Mac, guys. Um, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's been something that's been requested quite a bit um, for a little while now, so I decided to go ahead and make the video. Even though on a personal level, I don't think that this is a very uh, impressive video or anything, uh, or anything very interesting, but people wanted to see it, so I mean, that's what my channel is based around. I make content for what my viewers want to see. Uh, so yeah. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave it a like rating. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, uh, please do remember to subscribe. It really does help the channel out, and it's what keeps the content coming. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.